Rock Transformations Unit, Lesson 3.2, Moving Rock Formations. Activity 3, Moving Rock Formations. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Let's add a new question to investigate. How do rock formations move between the surface and Earth's interior? We add, how do uplift and subduction lead to the transformation of rocks? You have learned that uplift and subduction can move rock formations between the surface and Earth's interior. Now you'll use the SIM to investigate how uplift and subduction can lead to the transformation of rocks. You'll have two missions to complete. Mission 1. Form igneous rock below Earth's surface. Then use uplift and or subduction to transform the rock into sedimentary rock. Mission 2. Form sedimentary rock. Then use uplift and or subduction to transform the rock into metamorphic rock. In these missions, you will transform different types of rock. Use what you know about the cause and effect of rock transformations to predict what changes will help you succeed at these missions. Mission 2 requires you to form metamorphic rock. Remember, metamorphic rock is the rock type formed when heat or pressure deep underground changes existing rock. Students, complete the missions and answer the questions. Let's talk about how you completed Mission 1 in the sim. How did you take igneous rock from below the Earth's surface and cause it to transform into sedimentary rock? You might respond, igneous rock was uplifted where it could be exposed to energy from the sun. At the surface, it can be weathered to form sediment and then sedimentary rock. In the sim, the igneous rock can cool really close to the surface, so it can be weathered even without uplift. In other cases, igneous rock is formed deep below the surface and needs to be uplifted before it can be exposed. Now let's discuss how you completed Mission 2. How did you transform sedimentary rock into metamorphic rock? You might respond, Sedimentary rock subducted toward Earth's interior where it was exposed to energy from Earth's interior that could transform it into metamorphic rock. Can sedimentary rock transform into igneous rock? Yes. What processes would need to occur in order for that to happen? We might say, subduction would bring sedimentary rock towards Earth's interior where it would melt into magma. The magma would rise and cool to form igneous rock. Our sim has limitations. For sedimentary rock to transform into magma and then to igneous rock, it must be subducted deeper in the mantle which is not shown in the SIM model. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on.